Like Windows 10, Windows 11 comes with a lot of settings that are turned on by default when you first install the operating system. While most of these settings are very important and make sense, but there are some annoying ones that you should turn off right away. And these are the settings that you probably don't need at all. In this video, I'm going to show you which setting you should probably change right away. These are gonna be things that will have impact on your privacy and an overall improvement of your experience using Windows 11. So let's get started. If you are someone who doesn't like all these crowded icons on the start menu and on the jump list, there is an easy way to get rid of these icons. Right click on the Windows button and go to settings. Select personalization from the left side and click on start. From here, turn off these two options to keep your start menu and jump list nice and clean. One other thing that you can do in here is to add some shortcuts to your start menu. Right now, when I click on the start button, I see a lot of empty space between my profile picture and the power button. It would be very nice if I can add a few shortcuts between them and to fill up this gap. You can change that by clicking on the folder. Now you can turn on some shortcuts that you want to have. I would like to have the documents folder in the download folder. So I will turn them on. And now when I click on the start button, I see these shortcuts and I can simply click on it to jump to these places. The next thing you can do on Windows 11 is to disable these annoying notifications. To do that, right click on the Windows button and go to settings. From the system tab, select notifications. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and disable get tips and suggestions when I use Windows. After that, click on Privacy and Security. Here under Windows Permissions, select General and turn off all these options. To keep more of this information to yourself, you can change a variety of settings. You can find most of them under the Privacy and Security tab. We can start with Speech. Turn off Online Speech Recognition. Next, we will go to Inking and Typing Personalization. And let's turn this off. Next is Diagnostics and Feedback. Turn off Send Optional Diagnostic Data unless you are in the Windows Inside program. You can also turn off all the other settings down here. If you want, go ahead and clear all the diagnostic data from here. So that's it for this area. Now let's quickly go to the Activity History and turn off store my activity history on this device. We don't need to save that. The next thing that we need to turn off on Windows 11 is the app permission. An app on your computer need specific permission to function properly. For example, to your physical hard drive, camera, microphone, and many more. Now, this makes sense for some apps, but definitely not for all apps. So let's change that. Like Windows 10, you can manage app permissions by categories. It's a very long list and I'm not going to go through all of this in here, but I recommend that you go through all of them and make any necessary changes that you like and decide for yourself which permission would you like to give to which app. Many of these settings can be disabled altogether or you can disable it for a specific app. So for example, location in here. You can turn off location services completely or you can leave it on and decide which app access your location services. I mostly have all of them off, but except for some of them that I need. There are a lot of apps that you don't want on your computer. And to be on the safe side, you may want to limit uh, where you install your apps from. To do that, open settings, select apps and click on advanced app settings up here click on the drop down menu to choose where you want to install your apps from the default is anywhere which i don't really recommend you can either go with the microsoft store or one of the other two options i will go with the microsoft store only now this way when you try to install an unverified third party app you are gonna get a message like this Startup program load automatically when you turn on your system. But 
every program unless slows down your boot time and it consumes your computer resources. So this should only be your VIP list of apps. To change that, go to settings, select apps and then startup. Next, let's sort by startup impact. So you can see which ones are currently enabled and which one is consuming more impact. All right, so on means that these program will load up during the startup. And it also indicates how much resources is an app going to consume uh, especially you want to check out or turn off the ones with high impact so just go through the list and if you find a program that you don't need at startup just turn it off you can always turn it on once the computer is started or whenever you need it okay so that's it for today many thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one